Hello there, fellow aviators, aviation lovers and simulation enthusiasts. Welcome to another Pilot Dreams channel flight tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to perform a go-around in a 737. You can find link in the description below to a full tutorial about how to land a 737 with an ILS Category 1 and also another link for how to perform an ILS Category 3 landing, which is a completely automated landing. Today we're going to learn how to perform the go-around, one of the simple but yet most complicated maneuvers in civil aviation. It always catches us in an inconvenient phase of the approach, sometimes because we don't see the runway at the required minimums and sometimes because the air traffic controller requires us to go around. So we'll do two scenarios. The one will be ILS Category 3 Autoland when we don't see the runway at the minimums and at the moment we are intercepting uh, ILS 07 right in Frankfurt in uh, very bad weather conditions with snow and basically cloud that will probably will not uh, enable us to complete the landing and the second scenario is going to be a manual go around in an ILS category 1 which involves manual flight with a go around at the same time so at the moment let's assume we were clear for the approach for ILS 07 right and we call for flaps 1 and also flaps 5 because we don't want to intercept the localizer in more than 180 knots and set the speed uh, with speed intervention to 180 as I said we were cleared for the approach from the air traffic controller so let's press Vorlock and we can see Vorlock is armed I remind you the first scenario is an ILS category 3 with automated landing and the go around will also will be automatic we will have to supervise the different modes and to make sure the aircraft accelerates at the right altitude we'll see all of that in a minute so the aircraft has intercepted the localizer so let's press the approach mode and we can see the glide slope is green engage the second autopilot for a dual autopilot approach set the go around altitude to 5000 feet which is the go around altitude here at Frankfurt set the heading to runway heading which here it's uh, 068 and now we're all good to go and I'll see you in uh, five miles after we're in a final landing configuration and we'll focus on the go round process and call for flaps 30 set the speed we'll do it rear of plus seven and we can see command flare arm this is the preparation for the auto land and the landing checklist speed brake on landing gear down you can see three green lights and flaps 30 with a green light let's assume that we have received the tower permission to land clear to land 07 right and uh, pilot dreams channel flight and the readback is clear to land 07 right of course we know that today the situation is going to be the one that will not enable us to land as you can see outside it's snowy as hell now we're just waiting for minimums to see if we have the runway inside and if not we will press the toga the airplane will go around even if we touch down during this time we are still obligated to the go around process once the rate of climb will be positive we're going to call positive rate and gear up together with pressing toga we will call for flaps 15 on 400 feet we will verify that we have a lateral mode engaged like elnav or heading select and on 1500 we will start accelerating and reduce our drag so now let's focus on the visual cues remembering on minimums we're obligated to go around go around toga flaps 15 positive rate of climb gear up on 400 feet above ground level arm the LNAV mode we have LNAV the go around altitude over here is 5000 feet and as you can see the aircraft will follow the go around pattern now with the LNAV it maintains the speed that is good for the flap setting as you can see we're on flaps 15 now everything is controlled we have to relax on 1500 feet we should start accelerate to reduce the flap setting we do it manually not manually but uh, we initiate the process so we call for flaps 5 
and as you can see the aircraft is setting the speed accordingly and accelerating and now we should call for flaps 1 and you can see when we're raising the flaps the aircraft is also changing the speed accordingly transition so we should change the barrel setting also the first officer and when reaching uh, the speed we call for flaps up 1000 to level off usually in this stage the air traffic controller will give us instructions regarding how to proceed alt acquire everything is up and now it's time to do the after takeoff procedure and checklist so setting the landing gear to off disarming the speed brakes we can also close the vipers and now even uh, that it was a go round and not a normal takeoff we should do the after takeoff procedure and checklists so the procedure starts by engine bleeds and we should verify they're both on packs we should verify they're both at auto landing gear up and off and flaps up with no lights after takeoff checklist is completed and now we have to decide if we are diverting to an alternate airfield or if we're going to try again to perform the same approach based on the weather conditions today we can see there is no point in doing the same approach so we should probably divert to the alternate now that we've finished with the automatic go around for ILS category 3 Autoland we will perform an ILS category 1 with a manual landing and perform a go around in manual flight meaning that you have to manually fly the aircraft and ask for the pilot monitoring to set uh, the right modes for flight like LNAV or VNAV and to reduce the drag so with no further ado let's switch to an ILS category 1 again in Frankfurt with a little bit different weather conditions ok guys so we're back at uh, 3 miles with uh, gear down flaps 30 landing checklist completed and if not speed brake arm landing gear down flaps 30 with the green light I remind you we're on ILS category 1 we're expecting to see the runway above minimums and the scenario we're exercising today is a manual go around due to a vehicle on the runway now what I should emphasize for you is when you're going around manually you are flying the aircraft meaning that you will have to open the throttles number will be about 90% over here you should raise the nose to about 13 to 15 degrees and you should control the aircraft of course if you want to engage the automation the autopilot you have to make sure that uh, your aircraft is trimmed well uh, at the moment the aircraft is trimmed for descent meaning that when we open the engines uh, the trim will want to raise our nose so we will have to trim forward all of this should be taken into account when going around manually so let's proceed and hopefully we'll do it safely and professionally I remind you we're automatic flight and once we have the runway in sight we'll disengage automation and do the approach manually and then go around manually so we're expecting to see the runway shortly and here is the runway runway in sight so disengage the autopilot and the auto throttle and continue manual flight maintain the ILS path because you're still on an ILS let's adjust the thrust a little bit whoa that's too much Get nose lower Okay, and now the air traffic controller is go around pilot green turn flight there's a vehicle on the runway so go around toga open the thrust to about 90 degrees flaps 15 positive rate of climb gear up control your nose trim forward set thrust to about 90 degrees too low okay everything is controlled now as you can see the aircraft is trimmed we can ask for the pilot monitoring for lateral mode please arm LNAV raise the nose a little bit higher and at this point we can engage also VNAV and call for command re-engage the auto throttles so we have command N1 and above 1500 we should uh, accelerate by raising the flaps so let's call for flaps 5 and you can see the speed limit is uh, going further away together with the speed 
the computer is taking care of all of that and in a short while we're gonna turn right following the go around path and once flaps 5 is set call for flaps 1 and once flaps 1 is set you can call for flaps up and uh, we can call for after takeoff procedure so set the landing gear lever to off and the auto brake to off and we can call for uh, the after takeoff checklist engine bleeds on packs auto landing gear up and off and flaps up with no lights and after takeoff checklist is completed that's it for today guys say hello to me in the cockpit if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next tutorial goodbye until next time pilot dreams channel flight out